So for part B then, we've got to locate the points A and B. A is on the line L1 when lambda equals 1. So the position vector then of A, that's O to A, would be found by substituting lambda equals 1 into this vector equation of the line L1. If we do that, we've got 1 naught minus 1 then plus 1 lot of 1, 1, 0. And if we work that out, you've got 1 plus 1, which is 2, and then naught and 1, which is 1, and minus 1, and nothing else is minus 1. So O to A then is 2, 1, minus 1. That's its position vector. Similarly, we've got to get the position vector of B, so that's O to B. And O to B is on L2, and it's when mu equals 2. So just need to put 2 in for mu here. So O to B would be 136, 136 then, plus 2 lots of 2, 1, minus 1. Working that one out gives 1 plus 2 twos, which are 4. That makes 5. Okay. Then we've got 3 plus 2, which is another 5. And then 6 plus negative 2, so that's going to be 4. So O to B then has position vector 5, 5, 4. So in order to find the cosine and the acute angle then between A, B and L1, I feel it's good if we were to draw a sketch. And I find quite a lot of people struggle with drawing sketches because they think they can't draw anything in three dimensions. Well, it's dead easy. All you've got to do is just simply draw your line, and that would be, say, L1. Okay, have your origin. Okay, let's put it somewhere down here. And we want the point A, and we know that A is on the line L1, so just put a dot anywhere on this line, and let's suppose we say it's here. This is the point A, okay? The vector from O to A then is 2, 1, minus 1, so let's just put that in, okay? That's 2, 1, minus 1. And O to B, B's on a, the other line, L2. I don't really need to draw L2 in, in this particular example, but B, it's not on the line L1, so we'll just place B, say, over here somewhere. Okay, there's the point B. O to B, then, from O to B, is the vector 5, 5, 4. So mark that in, then, 5, 5, 4. And we've got to work out the cosine of the acute angle between AB and the line L1. So let's just mark in the vector A to B. I'll do that in blue. There we go, A to B. And the line L1. So the angle that they are after in this example is this angle in here, theta. Okay? Now, how are we going to work that angle out? Well, working out the angle between two vectors is always to work out the dot product or the scalar product between two vectors that are going in the respective directions. We've got this direction, AB. We just need a vector in the direction of L1. Where can we get that vector from? Well, I'd like to think that you're familiar with the vector equation of a straight line and that you would know that 1, 1, 0 is the direction that this vector is going, that, that, sorry, that this line is going in. Uh, let's just draw it on, okay? Let's imagine that uh, that is the vector 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, and that vector is parallel to the line. It means that I can move this into that place there, okay? And so the angle that we want is between the vector 1, 1, 0 and the vector AB. And in order to do that, I need to get the vector A to B, okay? Now what is A to B? A to B 
is the same as going from A to O and then O to B. In other words, minus OA plus OB. Or, rearranging that, O to B minus O to A. And I can do this then by using the vectors that I have up here, just simply taking them away. O to B minus O to A. So that's going to be 5 take away 2, which is going to be 3. And then 5 take away the 1, which is 4. And 4 take away minus 1, which is 5. So this is giving me then the vector A to B, 3, 4, 5. Now, if I just use the scalar product, we'll move that up, give ourselves some room. OK, we should be able to find the cosine then of this angle here. So, if I say that cos theta, OK, equals, you should be familiar with the result A dot B, OK, all over the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. Now, what am I going to take as my A and my B? Well, the A vector will be the vector AB, and my B vector will be the vector 1, 1, 0. So, dotting the two vectors together means that I just multiply the I components together, so that would be 1 times the 3, 1 times 3. I add it to the, the product of the J components, so that would be the 1 times the 4. And I add that to the product of the k components. That's that 0 times the 5. 0 times the 5. OK? And it's all divided by the magnitude of the two vectors. And when you're working out the magnitude of 1, 1, 0, or any vector, you just simply do the sum of the squares. So that will be 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 0 squared. I'll pop it in there just for the sake of it. Put that in brackets. Multiply it by the square root of the sum of the squares of this vector here. I don't have to put a square root sign in when I'm multiplying two square roots together, so I'll leave that out, and I just need to put 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared. Okay, so just need to get on the calculator and work this out. Okay, and what we get, 0 0.7. And because this is positive, the cosine of a positive value will always be an acute angle. So that brings us to the end then of part B.